Welcome to VTV Electrical YouTube channel. Let us conduct experiment number one: verification of KCL and KVL for addition. KCL and KVL introduced by Gustavo Kirchhoff. KCL is also called as law of conservation of charges. I is equal to Q by T. KVL is also called as law of conservation of energy. Voltage is equal to energy by charge or work done by unit charge. Right? Let's get started. Aim of the experiment to verify KCL in this circuit. First, I'll conduct a KCL. After that, I'll conduct a KVL. So, apart as required. Uh, Table and circuit diagram. Based on circuit diagram, we'll make a apparatus requirement table, table of column and procedure and result. Right? As you can see the diagram, according to statement of KCL, algebraic sum of the current meeting at a junction is equal to zero, and also entering current to the junction is equal to leaving current from the junction. Right? So here current is uh, flowing and then it is dividing into two. Right? I'll be connecting one emitter over here. I take I one. Here I two. And here on emitter I three, right? So this uh, emitter measures uh, this current, and then this emitter measures uh, this branch current. This emitter measures uh, this branch current. Whatever the emitter one, this one uh, reading is equal to these two emitter reading, right? So I one is equal to I two plus uh, I three. This I one is entering to the junction. I two and I three are uh, leaving from the junction, right? Let's see the practical circuit diagram connection. R P S is required, right? So R P S passes to emitter. This emitter to measure uh, this current, and uh, emitter two is for to measure this current. Emitter three is for to measure this current. And resistors are uh, required uh, for uh, controlling the current. Zero to fifty, hundred, one fifty. You can take a uh, fixed resistance also instead of taking a uh, rheostat. Okay. Based on this circuit diagram, we'll make a apparatus uh, requirement table. Serial number, apparatus, range, quantity. So RPS is required, right? So RPS uh, range is zero to thirty volts, two uh, amps, one, and emitters uh, required zero uh, to two amps, uh, three. Rheostat also required three. Range is zero to fifty, hundred, one fifty, right? Connecting wires as required. Okay. We'll make a tabular column based on this circuit diagram. How many meters are present? One, two, three, three, right? So this meter measure this one. This one and then uh, this one, right? This RPS is input voltage, right? Addition of this I2 plus I3 is equal to I1. See here, this A2 reading and then A3 reading is equal to A1 reading. Then your uh, experiment KCL is verified. Next one, common question: Why we need to do KCL experiment? Because uh, how much current is flowing through the particular uh, electrical appliances or electrical component that we are going to measure? See, this one is a uh, one uh, electrical appliances. This emitter reads. Uh, Current flowing through this uh, particular uh, uh, electrical component. That's why we are conducting this experiment. Next, we'll see procedure before conducting the experiment. Uh, everything must be off position. I mean, supply must be off position. Make the connection as per the circuit diagram. Set the rheostat uh, resistance value as per your requirement. Uh, you put it in constant value. Switch on the power supply by varying the RPS value step by step. Five voltage, ten voltage, or fifteen voltage. Note down all the meter readings. For KCL emitter reading, for KVL voltmeter readings. Okay, switch off the power supply and remove the connection. Finally, you should write a uh, KCL and KVL are verified as a result. Come to basic electrical uh, laboratory. Let us conduct KCL experiment. See here, circuit diagram uh, having uh, three rheostats and then uh, three emitters present and one rheostat. So this one is a junction. So entering current is equal to leaving current. See this emitter reading is equal to Sum of these two emitter reading because current entering is I1 and then I2 and I3 are leaving, right? So we'll conduct experiment based on the circuit diagram. Components are see here. This part is here, one emitter, one rheostat, and uh, this part is uh, here, one emitter and one rheostat, and then this part is A3 is here, and then uh, this one is R3 uh, rheostat, right? So as per your requirement, we can set the rheostat values. So already we discussed in the KV experiment how to uh, put uh, rheostat values uh, by using multimeter, right? So as per your requirement, you can keep the uh, resistance value in the rheostat. So randomly I have taken, right? Based on the circuit diagram, we we'll connect the experiment. See here, RPS uh, positive to positive to emitter positive. Right, emitter negative to emitter negative to 
rear straight uh, positive, I mean upper terminal, and then uh, rear straight uh, negative to see here. Uh, I'll connect uh, this emitter positive and then this emitter uh, short, okay, by using one uh, wire, right? See here, uh, this emitter positive, this emitter uh, positive. Right, I shot it. So what I will do? The negative, I will connect any one of the emitter. This emitter or this emitter positive. So I will connect here. Next I will connect uh, this part. Emitter, uh, negative of this emitter, A2 emitter to positive of rear side. See here, emitter uh, negative to positive of rear side. Upper terminal. And uh, Real start uh, this negative terminal. See here, this negative and then this negative. I'll short. Okay, I'll short here because this negative and this negative is connected, right? So from this negative, any one of the negative here, uh, this negative or this negative, I'll take uh, that one into RPS uh, negative, right? See here, I'll connect uh, this negative and this, this negative shorted over here. And then I'll take one point. Any one uh, rear shot you can connect. So I'll take uh, from here. You can connect uh, here or here. Your wish, okay? I'll connect it to RPS negative. See here. This point goes to negative. See here. RPS positive to emitter positive. Emitter negative to positive of rear stack. Negative to any one of the I mean plus plus you shot of emitter. And then negative to positive of uh, any emitter A2 or A3, and uh, this emitter 3 to uh, negative to positive of uh, uh, rear state, and then this negative negative uh, short, and then directly it goes to this uh, RPS negative, right? So one thing I left here, this emitter A3 this one, okay? A3 negative to positive of uh, rear state, right? So then it is uh, correct circuit is. Uh, uh, perfect and then you can conduct the experiment right let's take the reading by switching on the power supply so power supply turned on and then vary the rps voltage uh, about 10 otherwise you uh, consider current also your wish so i'll be taking 10 volts current in the emitter one is uh, 0.18 so 0 0.18 emitter 1 reads and what about I2? I2 is equal to 0 0.05 0 0.05 and uh, this one is uh, 0 0.13 so 0 0.13 so addition of uh, these two will get uh, 0 0.18 right so generally the uh, experiment is verified and next I will be giving uh, 20 volts For 20 volts, uh, current is 0 0.37. This emitter, I mean, like this ampere and then this emitter uh, reading same because uh, see here correction. This emitter reads same uh, current, same current will be flowing, right? So 0 0.37, see here 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.37. So I1 reads 0 0.37. What about I2? I2 reads 0 0.15. 0 0.15. So what about uh, I3? So 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, uh, 3, 0 0.23, 0 0.23. We got here uh, 0 0.15 plus 0 0.23. You we'll get 0 0.38, right? Uh, 38. So just one uh, ampere difference will be there just by um, reading the emitter I mean by observing the emitter I get uh, some difference that's why this one does a human error right so I'll be giving that 25 volts now 25 0.47 I1 rates uh, 0 0.47 0 0.22 here 0 0.25 uh, so you'll get 0 0.47 amps so this emitter emitter one reading 
is equal to addition of I2 and I3. See here, addition of I2 and I3. So, then only the KCL is uh, verified. But uh, in the uh, moving coil instrument, uh, you will get uh, less error. So, 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.3 something, 0 0.01 or 0 0.02. So, use the digital meter for uh, exact reading. So, we got uh, exact value, only some uh, less difference will be there. So, this is the experiment. Do it for uh, 30 volts. Okay. 30 volts also will get same answer. So, this is the verification of KCL. This emitter 1 reading is equal to addition of uh, these two emitter reading. Then KCL is verified. 